Welcome to John Turner TV. You know, this is my platform for bringing you some very specific training on how you can help your business. And, you know, this week I was really thinking about, you know, what is it that makes one person successful and another person not? And I was going back to the training I received many years ago. And one of the things that I found very important to do is I, you know, when we're out talking to people, just relating to them. And inside of that, is de really developing a skill of being a good storyteller. You know, having a story that that is relevant to somebody and, and relevant to you um, is a very um, unique skill set to have. And for those of you that are introverted, that are not extroverts, uh, this training and this skill set will come in great uh, use to you. So get out a piece of paper real quick. I want you to be able to take this down, watch as many times as you need to. And I'm going to teach you a concept called the four P's. And see, the, 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 the four P's are your lifesaver in every conversation. In fact, most conversations I have, I'm using some form of the four P's um, as I'm just talking to somebody about not only what I have and what interests them, but where I'm really going with things. And so the first of the four P's are our are, are, are products. That, that, that's the first one. The second one is programs. The third one is pay plan. And the fourth one is people. And being able to talk about these four things as it relates to your opportunity that you have and how to communicate that effectively will be a great help to you. And I'm going to give you how I talk about it and why this is relevant to your business. See, having the ability to, to relate to somebody on multiple subjects is 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 been my most valuable asset. I, I recently told somebody, you know, after all the companies that I've been part of building, owned a couple of my own, that I've, I've just had a good ability to relate to people uh, across a broad spectrum, whether they were an accountant or an engineer or a stay-at-home mom, and it's made it made it easy for them to say, okay, I can see why John has decided to, you know, uh, uh, put time into his opportunity, and maybe it's something that I want to do. So when you talk about the four P's, I'm going to give you kind of just a real quick run through of how, of how I talk about it. And then I talk about how you can use it in most anything that you're doing as you talk to somebody and you can bring it back to the table of would they be interested in your product or your opportunity. So when I, so when I talk about the four P's, whether I'm in front of a thousand people, I'm on a conference call, I'm on a webinar, I'm in front of the room introducing my particular opportunity, or I'm... Um, talking to you like I am right now, one to one. Um, this is what it sounds like to me. Is what I really say, you know, when you when you evaluate any good company, and I talk about good companies. I'm talking about great companies. I'm talking about companies that are that are going to be here today, and 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 they're going to be here tomorrow as well. I mean, long term legacy type companies. I just say this. Listen, you evaluate those companies. You you need to have products. They they need to be significant. They 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 need to provide a, a, a benefit to somebody and somebody has to be willing to reorder that product and we have nothing. You have to have programs. Um, we, inside of that, you need to have programs that, that are seamless. And what I mean by that is you have to have a program that is independent of your skill set. Whatever your skill set is today, introvert, extrovert, stay-at-home mom, accountant, 35-year vet and sales and marketing guy like, like, like myself, doesn't matter what they are, can you insert yourself into the program or the system and have a relatively high su su success rate? All great companies will always have that. The, the, the next thing that all great companies are going to have is all great companies are going to have a compensation plan or pay plan. Uh, I have a really good rule for looking at, 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 at compensation. You know, if you're in a direct sales um, opportunity like I am, uh, if I'm taking time away from my friends and family, if I'm doing it as a part two, meaning that I already have a full-time income and I'm spending time outside of, um, of, of additional to those hours, then better, you better have a pretty strong pay, uh, pay, pay plan so you're well rewarded for your efforts. And it just the, 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 the thing I look at in compensation plans is do they have really two components? Am I making you know, immediate dollars, that means daily and weekly pay, and is it tied to long-term residual income? 
You know, I, I've in, inside of those 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 that pay plan model. You know, I want to be able to work something, work at it. You know, put diligent effort into it. But I want to be make sure that I'm taking care of you know long term down the road. So I'm, I'm getting paid ten years for the effort I put forward to today, and we all call that the, that residual income. And the last thing that all great companies are going to have are people. You know, people really make companies. And, you know, no matter what room I'm in front of or what conference call I'm on, I'm always amazed at the quality of people. And when you have great people join your teams and, and, and you'll just see things, things flourish. So that's what it sounds like if I'm in front of the room talking to people. But let's listen how it's really tied to uh, maybe just picking those, the, the, those points apart. You know, I could be sitting down with my good friend, Bob and saying, you know, Bob, you know, how do you uh, evaluate your business acumen? I mean, how, how, how do you evaluate companies and get some input from them and say, well, you know, I, I just really believe that all great companies are going to have a product that, that people want to buy, that they, they want to buy over and over. So I can tie it into the conversation. It's not always about going out and pitching my opportunity to somebody and say, are you interested in making money? Are you interested in, in, in getting, in getting, in, in getting in better health? See, I, I, I really want to get to know this person. I've, 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 I had a, an earlier episode that we really talked about collecting friends, and I really am in the business of collecting friends. But even when I'm not talking about my opportunity, I'm using the, 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 uh, the uh, four Ps. When I'm talking about, about a restaurant, I could be, you know, the, the four Ps are really there too. You know, I could tell somebody, well, John, why do you like going to Perry's? Well, first of all, man, they got an amazing steak. I don't get it anyplace else. Um, Every time I sit down, it seems like they know what they're, 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 they're doing. They just, every time it's always the same. I'm always getting high, high quality things. I, I go there and when, when I pay my money, um, I, I just feel like that, that, that I got great value for it. So, you know, we, we, we valet park, we go have a, a steak and a bottle of wine, and we just have great value for, for what we get. And I can tell you, you know, I've known, been in a lot of restaurants and dealt, dealt with a lot of, you know, people serving me my meal, or maybe it's a bartender, manager, and every time I go to Perry's, I just feel like I'm getting in and, you know, having an amazing person serve my meal. See, we just talked about the four Ps, but I really just told somebody why I choose to go to one restaurant or, or the other. And having the ability to tie in your story in relation to the four Ps, as I do talking about my years in business, or it could have been your personal evaluation, or it could have been your experience, the four Ps are always there to save you because one of the things I see a lot of new people doing is that they, they really ask me, John, I don't know what to say. And so what I try to do is, you know, give them the, the structure. And so you're never lost inside of it. You just kind of remember where you're at, that you've talked about one and you've talked about the other. And don't make it feel unnatural. It should feel comfortable to you. Well, that's the reason why I like it. It doesn't matter if I'm talking about my business, my experience, the car I bought, the home I live in, why I think of one person is amazing in, in my life. Maybe I met him on social media. Maybe I've talked to him in person. That the four Ps are my, are my life jacket. I'm not drowning in a conversation trying to recruit somebody. I'm building a lot of value. I'm letting them know a little bit about me. I'm becoming vulnerable. And when you do that, your people will talk to you. You know, I love having the opportunity to, you know, bring you information that you can go out and, and use today. So do a little experiment. Go out, you know, talk to somebody and use the four Ps. Uh, if you have to watch this a couple times to get the premise of it. But as you start using the four Ps, you're going to see some amazing, amazing things happen for you. And, you know, I'm always honored to bring you just a little bit of information of things that I've been to pick up, uh, pick up over the years that have helped me build a very significant business and really gives me the ability to work from home and enjoy, you know, in an outstanding way.